How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Credit cards is not for everyone and not everyone can take a credit card in the store and not buy anything with it. A credit card is very dangerous in the wrong hands, especially if you have a high credit limit, you end up spending more and more into it until you are in credit card debt. Now, if you know you're going to be in the high risk type where you think you're not going to be very responsible with a credit card at all. However, if you just go cash only and avoid credit cards altogether, somehow down the line, maybe you want to get a loan for a car or get a mortgage for a house. Yes, there are ways where you can get a mortgage or a loan for a car without needing a credit score. However, with one is actually a lot easier and you might be able to get interest rates that are quite low if you have a good credit score. So today I like to talk about a few ideas I like to kick around for someone to be able to get a credit score with really, really little effort. All they have to do is just do the setup in the beginning and just let the automatic payments, automatic charge work its thing over the many, many years. And then at the end, maybe, you know, five, 10 years later, you might want to use the credit score. However, you didn't do anything in the whole process. You're not carrying a credit card, so you're not tempted to uh, spend more and more into it. However, the automatic process is charging your credit card and paying it off every single month for you. So all you have to do is do the initial setup and just kind of forget about it. You can even cut off the credit card and just let it do its thing over many years. And then eventually you're going to get a really good credit score without even having to carry a credit card around because all of this process is automatic. So the idea is this, and yes, this is what I think about all day long. Sometimes when I'm driving, I daydream about this stuff. It's like, oh man, how do I help someone that is not very good with credit cards and they only want to use cash only, but maybe I want to give them a good credit score anyway. The way you do this is once you turn 18, you might not be able to qualify for uh, unsecured credit cards. If that is the case, it might be a little bit more difficult where you need to get a secured credit card first do this process and then later on when your um, credit score is good enough, then you get an unsecured credit card. However, let's just start with an unsecured credit card, which is just something I started with personally. You get your unsecured credit cards, then you go on Amazon and you load your credit card onto that website and make sure that it charges $5 into the account every single month and then you set it up on your credit card and have it on auto pay. Make sure that it's auto pay in full every single statement and you just let it run itself. The trick here is that whenever you start a brand new credit card, you have to do all this setup. You have to make sure you connect your checking account to your credit card. And even so, some credit cards are harder to set up than others. So you just have to monitor it for the first month, two months or three months to make sure the auto payment goes through and you do not get a late payment fee or anything like that. You just gotta watch it like a hawk and make sure the auto payment goes through. Then after you have this all set up, then you put the credit card away or maybe you wanna cut it up so that you do not even get tempted to bring it outside to use it. Through doing this, yes, your credit card is gonna get charged $5 every month. However, it's going to automatically pay from your checking account $5. This is a very small amount because one whole year is only taking out $60 from your checking account. This in turn builds your credit history without you having to do anything. So this is kind of like, once you set it up, it's just kind of like sit back and just, you know, watch it build up your credit on your um, Amazon account. And you just basically ignore it until maybe they send you a brand new card. Every two, three years, they're going to send you a new credit card because the expiration date changes. So when you do get it, you still have to do a little bit of maintenance work you, where you go back on your Amazon account, update the expiration date whenever this happens. You can see where I'm going here. You're just trying to set something up automatically so that you build a history without you actually having to do any work and also you won't be tempted to carry a credit card around where you have essentially a really large limit and you just swipe things and then you won't know where your money went. So you can even use this on bills that are very stable. I wouldn't try to pay on utilities or anything like that at an apartment because people are known to switch from one apartment to another. Something that is very, very stable that you can um, make sure that it would go from year to year, five years, 10 years, and to me, automatically loading an Amazon account is something that can stay around for quite a while. Don't forget to give me a like on this video. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, don't forget to check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. And if you don't like this audiobook, you can cancel it before the subscription expires. You can still keep this audiobook and still help benefit this channel.
If you're interested in supporting my channel directly, I have a Patreon over here where you can get various perks at various contribution levels. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get a notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.